Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. I'm Manny, thanks for watching. Today is gonna to be my AAR of Steve Fisher's handgun accuracy class. First, let me read you the course description and then we'll get into it. This is a four hour course focused on handgun accuracy, reintroducing the fundamentals through critical analysis of your stance, grip, sight picture, and alignment, introducing more advanced skills such as zeroing pistol sights, accuracy variations with the use of different ammunition and more, um, so, it's a very basic class, but a very needed class where I think a lot of new shooters and experienced shooters who sometimes go faster than their sights. So, I think about it, it's a class for everybody. And this time around, there was a lot of different variations of skill level and uh, time behind a gun. Um, I took this class prior to, and there's a lot of guys who are a lot more experienced than I were in the first time, but in the second class, felt like I was one of the more experienced shooters even though I didn't have a lot of time behind a gun I had a my skill set was a little bit higher but <clears throat> I digress and uh, things needed for the class were a reliable handgun um, at least two magazines a good rigid holster we had a belt ears and eyes and then an open mind uh, I think the max rounds for for this course were 200 rounds we came nowhere near that it took a lot less rounds to get through what we needed to but those rounds were purpose rounds those weren't just up downs for four hours it was methodical thought through and deliberate and focused on what you were doing rather than putting holes in paper because it wasn't about putting the holes in the paper it was where the holes were not saying we were fully accountable for those rounds but we were still very had to be very precise on where our rounds went and went through there um first off steve introduces himself um a few people knew who steve were some didn't really know um but steve then we had some classroom time with him uh, we talked about a couple things um i think my biggest takeaway from um the classroom portion was that your right hand is only responsible this this finger on your right hand is your trigger finger or if you're lefty over here um but this was only to depress the trigger. It was not to drive the gun. The left hand drove the gun. So when they brought out together, the left hand was pushing. And a lot of people will sometimes be very low and left because their right hand is overdriving the gun. That was very big for me in the classroom portion. Um, having that grip is so important. But that really didn't come into play until actually into the, class, into the demo time, on the range, throwing rounds. Um, all right, so the gear I used in this class was my uh, Aries gear, Aegis belt. Um, really like that belt. Um, very sturdy. Um, and other than that, I threw the mags in my pockets. Didn't need any mag pouches. Wasn't speed reloads for this class. Um, I did use my Glock 17 MOS with an RMR, RMO6, and a Filster Spotlight. Really good combo. But anyway, so we got down there. We got to the range, um, loaded some mags for some people, some of us were ready. Uh, we uh, all got split up into two groups. Uh, Steve lined us all up and we presented our grips to him. He modified a lot of grips because that's so important. But um, he really remolded my grip because what I thought was right was actually very wrong for me. But now I'm getting a lot of good palm pressure and finger pressure. Not, I'm not super squeezing the, sh the crap out of the gun. I'm putting enough pressure with my right hand to hold the gun, front pressure and back pressure on the front straps. There's a little bit of side pressure, but it's not a whole lot of pressure. But then my left hand is really uh, putting pressure on that gun, keeping it stable, thumb stabilized onto the high end of the slide. But that was very good. Um, then the first couple drills we did was the load one, shoot two, where you'd load around, strip the mag, shot, and then take another shot, dry, and then load it, rack it, do it again. We did that a couple times in the class. It was really big. Um, when I first started out, I have a really bad flinch on that second dry shot. Even though I know it's dry, I still flinch. But throughout the course, after we did that a couple times, it got better. I did not flinch as bad. I still had the flinch. But other than that, it was okay. Um, and then we did it through some other drills. I'm not going to tell you everything we did because it's Steve's curriculum. I'm not going to give it away. But the load one, shoot two is a very good drill. It means you're really placing those rounds where you need to. And you're getting twice the reps for half the ammo. Which 
is helpful if you're on an ammo budget and you but you still need to train and do stuff big proponent for this class is also dry fire do a lot of dry fire but you need to know to do the right dry fire instead of just present quick super one shot draws off the holster under a second i mean sure that's important to in some retrospect, but when it comes to accuracy, that's not a big deal. It's about putting those rounds when they need to be accurately and precise. Um, big takeaways from this class were um, have emotional control, if, because without the emotional control, you are not going to hold yourself accountable to have the accuracy that you need. Keep your grip tight. Don't give up the grip. Don't give it up. Always take that um, every shot. Take two sight pictures, the first one, and then after it comes in through recoil, take it before you take the next one. It was very big. Um, always uh, push yourself to uh, higher forms of accuracy. Um, I really enjoyed the class. Um, I've known Steve for almost two years now. Um, he's a great instructor. Um, I believe what he has to say is important and true. Um, you know, what he teaches is a way, not always the way, but it's very effective. Steve has taught for a long time, and I mean, he knows his stuff. I mean, you can ask him questions, so he'll, he'll give you his opinion and what he thinks, but, I mean, always ha always be willing to learn. I'm always willing to learn, because I know that I don't know everything. But, all in all, guys, this is a great class. Um, I really recommend it. I've taken it two times now. Um, first time, I got a lot out of it, but this time, leaps and bounds more. I became a better shooter. I was shown how much of a better shooter I can be when I have emotional control and I have that right grip. I'm not even going to look. think about that old grip I had. It was garbage. This new grip I have is going to change how I'm going to shoot. It's going to make me better. It's going to make me feel more confident in my skills. And I thank Steve for showing me that grip that's going to work. I mean, it's hell. I could try to do B8s at 25. I know I'm not ready yet, but I'm going to be trying those in my practice and be accurate and very... um precise and deliberate on my training instead of flinging rounds all the time. I'm going to be making sure I put them where I want them, take the time before I build up that speed. I'm not saying speed's not important, I'm saying, but you got to figure it out what's important and what you want to practice on, speed or accuracy, and then bring them all together at one point. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want, like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, on G. Just, just like it for me. All right, I appreciate it, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.